What's up, Internet? You guys are probably thinking, why am I smiling like a Cheshire cat that got the cream? Well, that's because you don't have a comfy. I do. There's my comfy. Say hi, comfy. Ha ha ha, she says hi, comfy. Can't hear her because it's on my headset. But point is, guys, um, you guys have been asking about updates. My lens is freaking dirty again. Oh, I guess that works. Um, you guys were asking about updates to Project Yag Tiger, and so here it is. Um, I have the uh, wire chamfers marked out. This is a uh, uh, machinist's ink. Um, it's designed so that you can scratch it and have the mark in it and not mile up the metal. But anyway, um, problem is, I've been trying to grind this out slowly, and I do mean incredibly slowly using my Dremel okay this was a brand new bit on my Dremel it is now damn near dead so what I've decided to do is say screw it and bring out the big boys so here is my uh, DeWalt axle grinder that I used to use for work as you guys know used to handling very 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 heavy machinery and uh, working on car bodies and stuff like that this thing will go through this metal like butter like butter and so my idea is to use it to cut the chamfers in and then use my drill uh, to draw the pipe draw the pilot holes for the um, fan splitter adapter thingy this thing for the uh, fans that's going to be going on the push pull configuration on the radiator the pump and various other things so and I just didn't have time to do an Instagram update on it so I figured I'd just do a video instead so hashtag project Yag Tiger um, now a lot of you people are asking me why is it called hashtag project Yag Tiger well the reason why it's called hashtag project Yag Tiger is because when I went to Mesquite to do some voiceover work, um, there is a collector who lives not far from there who owns what's pretty much a tank graveyard. He's got a lot of Cold War era tanks, a lot of M60 patterns, uh, T64s, T50s, um, even a T72 um, and a few others, but he also happens to have some uh, 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 wrecked World War II stuff. Uh, he's got a couple of wrecked Shermans, a wrecked T-34, a wrecked Panzer IV, and he also happens to have um, what's left over of a Yag Tiger. Um, I didn't ask him how he got it. I wish I had. Um, but point is, he, you guys know I'm I'm a bit of a sticker for German armor in the games I play, uh, Heroes and Generals, War Thunder, etc., etc. You guys know I'm a huge fan. Uh, of the Axis armor. Doesn't mean I'm a racist, doesn't mean I'm a neo-Nazi, just means I like what I like, okay? Uh, some of you guys have preferences for black chicks, some of you guys have preferences for Asian chicks, some of you guys have preferences for boys, you know, I don't call you racist, you know? So look, my preference is, I like my Panzer 3 J1. I love my Greta, okay? Speaking of which, my uncle recently purchased one. <laughs> Lucky bastard. Uh, yes, an actual full-fledged Panzer 3 J1. He actually purchased one. Um, so, that aside, when I was there, the guy let me have a piece of the Yak Tiger. I managed to convince him, with the aid of some Benjamins, to let him cut off a piece of the Schertzen, the track skirt, and he gave it to me. Now, it's sitting in my garage. I'm not gonna be getting it out until it's time, but this is why it's gonna be called hashtag Project Yag Tiger, is because there's gonna be actually Yag Tiger tank destroyer in the computer, okay? It's not necessarily gonna be a beast. It's not gonna be a Ryzen or, or a Cabby Lake or whatever. It's not gonna be, you know, uh, um, Zen. It's not gonna be, you know, 1080 Ti's or Titans or anything like that. I'm not Jay's two cents, you know, I'm not made of money, guys. Um, it's just going to be used parts that I can find on Craigslist and a few other places, eBay, you know, stuff like that, that I'm going to cram together, put into this case, and use it as my new uh, 
uh, as my new second rig. I'm not sure if I want to use it as my encoding PC or if I want to use it as my gaming PC. All I do know is that it will be um, used daily. Um, and so it's going to get a brand new paint job. I'm stripping the case uh, of this, this horrible uh, textured black paint that came with the company. The case itself is an NZXT um, graphite. I think it was a graphite. I'm not sure if it's the graphite series, but anyway, it's a, it's a, it's a crappy case that I've already modified in the past. I've added windows to one of the side panels and I cut a huge 120 hole in the top to allow for better ventilation of the RAM. Um, because back then I was overclocking my RAM and my RAM almost, you know, thermal shut down on me because of my overclock. But um, anyway, uh, what I want to do is start working on it. I'm going to cut out those chamfer areas so I can run cabling through because I want to put my hard drives, I want to put my SSD, okay, I want to put my SSDs um, back here. So, you know, they're out the way and I'm not going to. I'm not going to be um, double sided double side taping them um, to the back plate, you know, to the back. I'm not going to be doing that. That That's very Paul's hardware. That's very bitwit. That's not very me. Okay, I want to actually securely mount my drives and everything else. So I'm going to probably end up breaking up my welder as well and welding in some brackets so that I can attach my. Uh, uh, quarter inch two and a quarter inch drives instead of my big uh, 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 a big hard drive that I've got over there my big uh, 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 is that two terabyte or a ten terabyte I don't know it's a it's it's a bigger drive that's got mostly my uh, uh, movies and stuff like this that I'm recording I saved that on that drive as an actual backup um, but other than that yeah project Yag Tiger is still going forward I'm waiting on parts um, once the parts get here uh, I'm also waiting on something else to get here from, from the Carolinas. I'm not going to say what. That will be a surprise. Um, but uh, when it does get here, <laughs> I'll be a very, very, very happy Cobra. Um, other than that, guys, that's where Project Yag Tiger sits right now. Um, I wouldn't say it's sitting in parts, you know, like, like gathering dust. It's not. I am working on it bit by bit by bit. It's just I haven't had time to, to do Instagram updates or Twitter updates or Facebook updates because I've been incredibly busy. And I do apologize for that, guys. That's why there's not been a lot of video content. Again, I apologize. There's nothing I can do about that. You know, real life is real life. And, you know, here, maybe in the next few weeks to a month or so to two months, you'll understand why. Okay, but anyway, Project Gag Tiger is still going forward. It is still moving forward. Um, I do have um, some close-up detailed pictures of Gag Tigers, and I hope, I hope I can finally christen my new airbrush and my new compressor and my new airbrush paints that I got from uh, uh, from Kratex uh, and actually knock out a bitchin' tank-themed paint job for the case. So look forward to seeing that, guys. The case, the case alone is going to have about maybe four or five days worth of airbrushing into it. So look forward to seeing that. So yeah, other than that, guys, that's where we sit with Project Gag Tiger, and I hope to see you all in the next clip slash video. Okay, guys. Bye.